y'all. Thank you so much for watching with Angelique TV. We're talking about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like, um, welcome back. We are now um, resuming. I would say we are in season two of this series, but technically, girl, according to what I <laughs> prepared months ago, we are still in season one. Um, honestly, y'all, I wanted to do this little break that I just did or just came off of um, after season one, <laughs> but girl that didn't work out okay um my kids they went on spring break so i'm like okay while well, my kids on spring break let me just take a little break it went from me taking a little week break to two weeks to three weeks because i have to get myself together like i didn't want to put no makeup on or anything like that i bitch been going through it and we're gonna talk about what i be going through like in real time um soon i feel like i'm always talking about how i felt years ago instead of telling y'all like how i'm like currently doing because i don't like i don't go live with y'all anything like that which i've never w went live like y'all would think i've been in this in this youtube game for <laughs> for over 10 years i think that's the millennial in me like i'm not really a go live type of person but if it's only five of y'all and it's one of me like what the fuck is we gonna talk about i cannot stand whenever i, I accidentally go to somebody live on instagram and there's only like two people in there and you know instagram is gonna tell you who watching your shit right so <laughs> i don't know like <clears throat> i'm gonna pray about it y'all i'm gonna pray about it but excuse my nails like girl when i tell y'all i've never had so many issues trying to take nails off the fuck like i was gonna just gonna get a refill but like now nah, i want to start fresh with a new full you know a new fresh shit but girl i've been fighting for my life trying to take these nails off so um mind that and the crazy part about it is during this break shit just constantly being added on like i didn't add it probably maybe like an episode and a half to this series <laughs> just over the last couple of weeks like it, it's crazy but y'all we're gonna get that when we get there child we're gonna get to 2024 right now we still stuck in 2022 if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below that way you don't miss when the next time i post also turn that notification bell on because even though you subscribe nine times out of ten you probably ain't gonna know when a bitch uploads so go ahead and do that and hit that thumbs up button girl let's just get into the story the last story time we left off um after darius made an ass of himself called the police on himself and went to jail child and then the next day we took the kids to san antonio to sea world like ain't nothing happened <laughs> had a good time it was hot as fuck but they had a good time and that's all that mattered at this point katrina she works at amazon right i think i said it in the last word time so yeah she works at amazon at this point and she meets this co-worker of hers we're gonna name her extra okay that is her name for the story time series why because it was just extra. She's extra loud too, okay? And I noticed she started coming to the house a lot and her and Katrina, they were working the same shift. So sometimes, or a lot of times rather, extra would come to the house and would spend a night and then they'll wake up 11 o'clock to go to work. They have to go to work, be at work at like 12 or 1 a.m. They would wake up together and shit like that. I'm just like, I like my space and privacy, but at the same time, I gotta understand Katrina was single at this point, so she didn't have no, nobody or nothing to do. So, I mean, I guess if I was in her shoes, like, I would want my friend to come over and spend nights with me so that we can go to work together. You know what I'm saying? Just just one happy duel, okay? But uh, I did also notice that around this time, as they became closer, Katrina and I became distant in a way. Not necessarily, not really distant, because obviously we still live in the same household, so we still talk, but... You know, it went from her, like, telling me everything to, like, not telling me nothing. Um, which, it also could have something to do with the fact that nothing really was going on at this time either as well. So, like, um, she wasn't really too much com communicating with Darius at this point. And if she was, like, it wasn't on no drama shit. And, and after Darius finally got out of jail, child, he went his ass back to Georgia. Um, and we didn't have to worry about him anyway. As time went on, I noticed she started, like, being gone a lot more like being like like not at home i didn't know who she was like it, it didn't really matter to, matter to me but I, I just truly only noticed it because obviously her kids was like at the house with us like they wasn't out doing whatever she was doing so i did notice that she started doing other stuff like hanging out with her friend and they used to do their own shit whatever that's cool fine previously before this conversation i knew katrina was dealing with this guy which we're gonna this is a new guy by the way i noticed that she a little bit too close to who was supposedly her weed man right y'all know what the weed man do okay 
So one of these days she told me she was like hey and, and I also knew based on what she told me the wee man actually lived in our neighborhood and so he lived towards the back um just it wasn't far at all though so one of these I just didn't know exactly where he lived uh, I just knew based on what Katrina told me that he lived in the neighborhood and one night Katrina was like hey I'm gonna turn my location on for you because I'm getting ready to go meet up with Red and this is my first time going over there so I'm just I just want somebody to know where I'm at and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that's fine. Like, definitely. So, me being who I am, you know, I, I I made sure to watch where she was going. That way I can know exactly where he lived But I'm pretty sure I probably screenshotted it just so that I can know in case a bitch had to pull up. I don't know, bitch. Because, honestly, me and her wasn't even tight like that for me to even do shit like that. But just off the strength of her kids, like, she was a mother. So, I'm like, I need to make sure that they mama good. You know what I'm saying? Because... I'm stuck with her kids at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> but I couldn't tell her not to have a life at this point. You know, she, at this point, she wasn't really doing too, too much. She just like, she literally had just started leaving the house more or a little bit more than she used to, um, hanging out with her friend and stuff. And I was really happy for her cause I knew that she was kind of, I can't say depressed cause she never told me that, but she, I knew she, she wasn't feeling herself. I'll say that she wasn't really feeling truly like herself after the whole situation went down. Um, and so the fact that she was finally able to get out and she had her baby back, I felt happy to see her happy, if that makes sense. Oh, and if you may ask, where is the baby while she's doing all of this? The baby's home. She's home. At this point, Steven was probably about 15 or going on 15-ish. And so Steven, he would watch the baby. Now, I, I will say she'll put the baby to sleep before she actually, and at this time, she was like over one. Uh, she wasn't like a baby baby, but she still was a baby, you know, if you ask me. She would put the baby to sleep and then at that point tell Steven to go in her room and, and lay with the baby until she got back home. So that's where the baby was. I wasn't doing a babysit and especially the babysit so that she could go do whatever, who knows what, with who knows who. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> so um, she, she never like asked me, oh, can you watch her? That's one thing I can say. She ain't never asked me to watch her. And she never like explicitly asked me, hey, can you watch the baby? But I did find myself watching her <laughs> still because like, what, what the fuck is a 14 year old gonna do? A 14 year old don't know shit, you know? So I always find myself somehow stepping in to make sure the baby was good um, while I was home and while she was away. Back to what I was saying, after she came from Red's house, we decided, it was like, yeah, we wanted to get out the house and do something like, I don't know, I just wanted to get out the house and go out to eat or something. And so she was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. There was a place, there was a spot literally across the street from our neighborhood that had just opened. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get some, some drinks and get some crawfish or whatever. Let's go. Me and Katrina, we did that. So it was real loud in there. Honestly, I could barely hear her, but I, I did hear enough. Because, baby, we were just talking. And, and for the most part, y'all, I can say it was honestly awkward. And I was like, yeah, I'm never going to go out with this bitch ever again. Because it's awkward as fuck. Like, you know, like, we don't really... We're, we're not on the same type of things. Like, we're, we just don't match, you know. But it was something It was something to do. It was an experience that I just knew that I would never do again with her. But I did get some tea, bitch. I did get some motherfucking tea. <laughs> the night she went over there to Red's house, bitch, she never went in the house. She just went in the truck. The reason why I'm calling him Red is because he had this big-ass red truck. That's why I'm calling him Red. She was like, yeah, we didn't go in the house because he said his daughter was in there. And I'm just thinking, like, she ain't got a room. And this ain't no, like, little baby. Probably, like, 10, something like that. I didn't tell her this, but then I thought about it. I'm just like, girl, you stupid. The reason why he don't want you in there ain't really because his daughter is in there. But the reason why it's a problem is because obviously this man probably living with his baby mama <laughs> and he just don't want his daughter to see you like that's just uh, that's just what i got from that but she accepted it she took it and you know she 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 did what they did and they did they did do it they did do it katrina explained to me that they did what they did obviously not only did she do her thing he requested her to do something else which i'm pretty sure it wasn't her first time doing that i can almost put money on that she have done this before. Girl, why she throwing shades in the gas? The groceries, the badonka donk, the buttocks. I hate when people tell me shit like that, like in person, because it's like I gotta kinda like hide my real reaction because I'm not the type to be like, bitch, you stupid as fuck. <laughs> I'm not that type. Um, so I, I just, I laugh. That's 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 what I do honestly a lot. When I'm in uncomfortable, awkward ass positions in life, I laugh. 
So I was just like, oh my God, girl, are you serious? Like, what the fuck? But immediately in, my, in the back of my mind, I'm just like, what? But do he know? <laughs> that was the first thing in my mind was, do he know? Like, fuck all of the eating ass. Like, like I mean, it's 2024. Bitches really do that shit. I don't do that shit. I don't do that shit at all. These new millennial niggas, they really be liking that shit these days. Apparently. And girl, I was, I was like, oh my motherfucking gosh. Like, I could not wait to tell my husband. Because, like, at this time, I didn't really have many people to talk to. So, like, me and my husband, we be gossiping or whatever at times. And so, we gossip about her ass. Because that was, she was the topic of the motherfucking fucking year at this point so yeah we talked about it. initially whenever she told me this the like i said the first thing i thought about was like does he know like how much does he really know about you like i understand you doing this and you doing that but like you you slept with this man in the back seat of his car and you got the house in virginia and if you don't know what the house in virginia is you too young that was the first time that i started to honestly give her the side eye because mind you the first guy but prior to this the very first guy that she ended up talking to after her and Darius separated she told me that she was honest with him he cut her off eventually because of his reasons of not really truly being comfortable with that which I could understand um but overall she she did her part and she told you know what I'm saying I didn't ask her like does he know um, and she didn't tell me like yeah, but she he know like she she didn't tell me and I didn't ask I wasn't afraid to ask her but it was more so like it's not even your business Is it a crime? Hell fuck yeah, but like what am I don't know this man What am I supposed to do like go and tell him like I'm that's not my place That's I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna get into that like you won't reap what you sow no matter what like Period. That was definitely like the first time I really truly started giving her the side eye because I'm just like, ain't no way you out here telling these thugs that you got the house that's in Virginia. A few weeks later, I, I, I don't know exactly how we were on this conversation or on this topic, but she did end up telling, Katrina that is, did end up telling me like, yeah, I went to the doctor and they told me that uh, I'm undetectable. And I'm just like, oh, okay, that's good. But a fucking red light just started going off in my mind like bitch i know damn well you ain't using the whole thing of you being undetectable as a reason why you're not telling men that you have this because rather or rather not you are undetectable you still got it i'm no expert i know youtube be, be putting that damn cdc shit at the bottom of my videos whenever i be talking about this shit so i ain't <laughs> i ain't no fact check or anything like that but being undetectable does not make you HIV positive. Because at any point, if you were to stop taking your medication, what's going to happen? Your numbers are going to go, go back up and then you're no longer going to be undetectable. I think y'all know what I mean. Like, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not an expert, so I don't, know, I don't really know the science behind it. Just because you're undetectable doesn't mean you don't have it. Moving forward, it went from like every so often to like every few weekends, she's leaving this baby behind at home while she out partying or doing whatever the fuck. You remember when I told y'all a couple of minutes ago that she turned her location on that way? I can know where she was because just in case, you know, something popped off, it was her first time going to so and so house right okay keep that in mind the baby was still in daycare or whatever at this point months went by and eventually darius and katrina they i don't know how how it came about i didn't ask those questions but i knew they started becoming cordial again without no drama and it was said that he was going to be moving back to houston i'm just like okay that's cool whenever she told me that i'm like as long as he don't bring his black ass over here with that bullshit like that's fine we don't care that's your baby daddy and that's your child's fault at the end of the day like we can't stop that you know darius and katrina came up with an agreement because at this point, being that Darius moved back to Houston, he no longer wanted the baby to be in daycare because this is COVID. We're like a almost two years into COVID at this point. He was like, with COVID going on, I don't want her in daycare. And honestly, I just think it just was, he didn't want her asking him for money to pay for it. That's honestly and truly what I feel like it, it was because like, at this point in time, everybody was getting accustomed to COVID. Like the kids and went back to school in person and all of that. So like, it became really a, a new normal. So I don't really feel like that was the true reason, but whatever, like whatever that was their business, it wasn't mine. So I just know that she pulled the baby out of daycare and they came out with an agreement to where she would get the baby on Sunday, keep her Monday 
keep her Tuesday and then return her on Wednesday. Whenever I say return, I mean give her back um, to Darius on Wednesday. And so Darius would have the baby from Wednesday, all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then give her back Sunday. In the back of my mind, I, I was thinking like, okay, bitch, you did all of that. You did all of that going to court. I want my baby this and that just to still end up with less time. You did all of that for what? For what? Okay, for what? But whatever. I just was like, okay, I guess it's better for her financially because she ain't got to pay for daycare. So I guess she, you know, rather keep that money in her pocket than to have more time with her baby. Well, <laughs> the holidays went by and we would, like I said, Darius family and uh, my husband's they're in the same family we would always see Darius and so for this this particular holiday this is the first holiday you know since all of that died down and stuff like that that we went around because whenever things first started happening like we would we didn't come around like anybody see us for the holidays anything like that but the following year we went um by his people and Darius was there as well we didn't talk to Darius Darius ain't talked to us it was as if he didn't exist to us and as if we didn't exist to him and that's just how things were for like a while up until it wasn't and we went at, to that point yet but i'm just saying to that to say that we, it was like that for a while like we would come around we would have to go pass by the, by one of the family members houses or whatever and there is would be there we would literally not talk to him and you know and everybody knew why like the family already knew what was going on and what went down and stuff like that obviously um so it wasn't nothing strange at all so time went by girl and at this point now that katrina has a set schedule with darius it's like during those days where she doesn't have the baby she be out doing her own thing with her friend and be going to the club and stuff like that sometimes she'll come home sometimes she won't we became used to it we we're just like well you know hey her kids ain't really much of a aggravation to us at this time and it we didn't it didn't bother us that much most times she went out everybody was in the bed sleep or getting ready to go to sleep so it wasn't really a big deal but i did know that she did a lot of start to do more partying with her friend extra um and then extra used to have her son over at our house every every now and then but she would take it take her son like she wouldn't leave her son at the house at this time she would just every now and then have her son come and play with um katrina's kids and stuff like that i don't really have much family in houston at all like the only i only have one true well of mine i got like my daddy's side of the family like his my grandma is out here but i don't talk to her or anything like that so it's really that i honestly feel like i only just have one family member in houston which is my aunt and so um we live like literally across the street from each other um and so she had a get together at her house a bunch of people that we we didn't know of but this one particular guy it was um another tree man katrina she was looking for another tree man and so she got his number and stuff like that and started going to him for you know her little trees everything was cool like i didn't think much of it or whatever we're gonna call him gas okay gas was an acquaintance of my aunt now gas is a little bit more than an acquaintance the relationship of gas is going to be very significant towards the end and there was one particular time where katrina and extra was at the house and so every now and then i'll communicate with extra or whatever if they include me in their conversation this particular time we we're all talking and stuff katrina was like oh gas gonna come and pull up and serve me and then he pulls up i think she was just wearing some regular like pants or something like that so whenever she said that he was outside she was like oh shit i need to put some clothes on i'm thinking to myself what the fuck you gotta put some clothes on for bitch you got clothes on but okay whatever she do that go outside come back in bitch why the fuck she came in with a whole workout outfit on like the little tights with the little bra or whatever or sports bra i'm thinking to myself i know damn well she ain't talking to another wee man i know damn well me not being stupid of course i put two and two together and i was like yeah she gotta be fucking around with him she she gotta be she she fucking gotta be and so it got to the point where it she confirmed it because she was telling me how he shot a shot i feel like the fact that she was like dressing certain ways and shit like that niggas ain't stupid either you know once again he didn't live too far from us either well no no, no i'm lying in the beginning he did live a little bit far but then he ended up moving in the back of our neighborhood so i'm like oh my god another damn tree man didn't move not too far from where we live and she fucking with him too i just knew she wasn't telling these people her status like i just knew she wasn't but because it wasn't my business to tell 
I was just like in an awkward position to where I just have to sit back and watch her do these type of things. I just have to sit back and watch her go on these dates and shit and go out and hang with men knowing that I know her tea, you know? I know for a fact that you're not having these conversations with these people. I know for a fact. And the reason why I know is because Gas, he happened to have a baby mama. The whole time he fucking with her, she don't know. Well, I, I don't know if she knew. She was just not telling me. I don't know. But she told me. She told me. This is, again, she still wasn't really telling me too, too much. But I guess she felt the need to tell me about him specifically since she kind of met him based on my people. Like, you know, because my people knew him. So I guess she felt the need to tell me these things because it's like, okay, like, my people cool with him too or whatever. So let me just tell her the tea on him type shit, you know. So she told me that he had a whole girl. A whole girl who was pregnant now she unfortunately she did miscarry the baby or whatever but and of course I know this because she know it and she know it because he's telling her this and so as she's telling me all this I'm just like oh my god I know there's such thing as protection but I don't know these days I don't put nothing past anybody I automatically assume you're raw dogging somebody like especially a person like her i just automatically assume that she is but even if she was let's keep that in mind even if she was using protection she still should have told these people what her tea was that is a crime that's a felony right like that is a crime that that's a crime that that how is that not a crime <sighs> but although she was out here committing these crimes bitch i couldn't do anything i mean i could have i could have told her like hey girl you don't think you know what i'm saying like you don't think you should like did you tell him like do he know his tea but it's just like i thought like that would have just been like real awkward and just not so my business like at all it, it, it is what it is like i can't tell you what to do with your pussy like I'm, I'm just not I, i'm sorry i can't tell nobody what to do with their vagina especially a grown person she's older than me she's what three years three four years older no three years older than me like she's older than me in my mind i'm just like now i'm finally starting to see her true colors for real for real as to how she was before she got with darius you know clearly she had a life before Darius and so I feel like that's that's what her life was you know the only difference is she live with her baby daddy people she still gotta live her life I can't tell her she can't talk to men and can't date around and this and that but I can have an opinion and my opinion is that it's fucked up some of y'all may think well how do you know she's not telling these people this let's be honest no way it's gonna be that easy we're on our third person now I, I can't confirm if she slept with the first person or not I can't confirm that, but would I put it past her? No. But I can confirm that two people in a row she has slept with. I just know she's not telling these people this. I just know she's not. And even if she was telling these people this, it's pretty fucked up on Gas's part, being that he was in a relationship at the time, had someone pregnant, which means he was obviously sleeping with her unprotected. It's it would be pretty fucked up to know that my baby daddy is willingly sleeping with someone that he knows have HIV while he over here raw dogging me. Like do you do y'all understand that logic? Like I I just it, it's just no way in hell people really just truly okay with shit like that. It's no way. And if it is, then bitch, I need to find another earth, another planet to go live on. Because that's some fucked up ass shit. Fast forward to like April, May of 2022. We decided that, because uh, we knew our lease was getting ready to be up. And so, we like shit. We need extra space because, like I said, initially my boys were supposed to be in the room that her boys were in. And so, we're just like, well shit, we need some more room. We need some space in this bitch. So, I'll talk to my husband. I'm just like, do you want to, you know, do you want to do this again with her? Like, do you want to get our own place or what? And me and my husband at this point, we were pretty, we were okay with what the living situation was at the time. Like, it, it just worked for us. Like, everything was cool and we didn't have no drama or anything. Like, we didn't have no problems with uh, Katrina or anything like that at this time. And it just made sense. So, it was like, yeah, I mean, I guess we could just at least move somewhere else for at least another year or so. Um, and then, at that point, we could branch off or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, we started looking for houses and stuff like that, child. And the very first house that we saw we liked and it was in magnolia motherfucking texas the country girl the country i'll put in some footage because i know i i remember 
recording how it looked as we were approaching this house uh, how the town looked if you're from houston or if you live in houston and you're familiar with magnolia texas you might know why i say what i say because magnolia is country as fuck i didn't realize how country it was until we moved there though i was just like eager to leave because at this point i was like we got so many crazy memories in this house like i just want to have a fresh start you know i have a bigger place so this house is the five bedroom right we applied well first we went to go look at the house i'll post a clip of, of the house of how it looked empty that's that's us doing a little um walk through tour and stuff like that as y'all can see and um we applied for the house and a couple days later we were approved it was a really really fast uh a fast process surprisingly and so that's why i was like okay yeah damn is it meant to be <laughs> is it meant it must be meant for us to have this house if it was that easy that's what i was thinking we started preparing to move we didn't officially move into that house until june 15th of 2022 we ended up moving to magnolia texas with katrina and her kids and that was probably one of the biggest mistakes i've ever made <laughs> in my adulthood and moving in jointly with another family now before then it was just it was her moving in with us you know and that was our shit that move to magnolia changed a lot i ain't gonna lie y'all y'all been on darius's ass okay y'all been on darius ass. now some of y'all been on kitchen ass too i ain't gonna lie but a lot of y'all been on darius ass and like i told y'all before or in my other story time like the heat is getting ready to be off darius because darius gonna disappear for some time and so now we getting ready to get into Katrina business for real, for real. So on that note, I'm gonna stop this video right here. As a matter of fact, let me just give y'all a preview. I'll just go ahead and put the house right here because that's gonna be my background for these next couple of story times. And bitch, that's her car. <laughs> that's one well, she doesn't have this car anymore, but that is the car, as y'all can see, that is the car that I helped her get um, or whatever. And that's my car right next to her. Uh, like I said, she no longer has this car, so it doesn't matter. But um, that's that's us. That's the house. And I, I was weak in the motherfucking knees whenever I said some some told me to just Google because that's how I Google the other house when we the first house that we you know we getting ready to move from. I was telling me just Google it and let me just see if I see my car in the driveway. And bitch, I did. I was so damn weak that I seen my car and her car. So y'all already know about me. I'm all about the, the visuals. And so I just want y'all to be there. Even if y'all couldn't literally be there, I want y'all to at least be there a little bit so y'all can see and feel. So this is the house. The house of ops. The op house. Katrina and her motherfucking kids became the ops real quick. <laughs> Magnolia changed everything for everybody. So on that note, I'm just, I ain't gonna say too much. I just want to give y'all a little sneaky peek of that. I already told y'all a couple story times ago that I'm currently in the midst of working on another series. So by the time I finish this series, it's gonna be damn near summertime or, or will be summertime. So y'all can expect to see my next series this summer. So just just wait on it follow me on all of my social medias as well that way you can keep up with me lord why y'all and tell me my hair was looking like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below hit the like button that way they can know who the fuck your girl is that notification bell that way you can know when i post next so i'm gonna see y'all in the next story time i love y'all for watching and i'm gonna see y'all later